Hello everyone, Gomorath here. It's been a minute since I've created a video, but I just got back into BFA and started with some pet battles. Uh, this was one of the guys that I boosted up to 120 and thought, hey, you know what would be really fun is to try these new achievements to win 10 PvP battles with an entirely unique team of just one type of pet. So I started with Beast and did Critter, and then I've got a couple other pet teams in the in the works right now, but uh, I got pretty lucky with this Beast setup here, where I won 10 of the 10 matches that I queued for. Um, I know I got pretty lucky in that I didn't have to face any uh, mechanical teams, and the players who I was playing against, honestly, they may have even been bots, because they just did the exact same thing every single time. Like... I faced these two guys, two different uh, uh, other players who were running. One who had a whole an entire undead team, and then the other who was running a uh, mechanical Pandaren Dragonling, a uh, Clockwork Gnome, and then the Nubisath Idol. And this team just demolished those. Uh, so I ran the Rosa Typen in my first slot. This is the SS Breed. This is the same as... What's the name of the pet out from the Timeless Isles? Um, the... Deadly Adder or something. Anyway, it's it's been a minute. I'm forgetting all this stuff. So this was the setup that I ran. I ran Vicious Fang rather than the Poison Fang just because I needed a basic attack. And um, by the time this is fully ramped up, uh, usually your beast dam or your beast racial is already active. So I mean, this thing was hitting non crits uh, with the beast racial for like over 400 damage. So. It was, it was really doing work at the end. Now, this guy was able to solo almost the entire first pet of everybody that I faced. Um, actually, it, I'd always beat the first pet, and then I would get 50 to 75% of the way through the second pet, because I'd usually be able to pull off a blinding poison puncture wound with that beast racial active. And I think one of the teams I queued against, this beat the first two pets entirely by itself. And then I had the Vengeful Porky Pet as the backup, running just the good old school Powerball, Spirit Spikes, and Flank, you know, the default setup. And then I had the Alpine Foxling just kind of as the cleanup pet at the back of the back of the team. Because with uh, Dazzling Dance and Flurry, uh, just to take care of any possible decoys that I ran into, granted I didn't run into a single one, even the team that I was running, the Mechanical Pender and Dragonling, he wasn't using decoy. So, uh, and then, you know, crouch, especially end game, like this guy being the cleanup pet, having crouch on the, him could be can super clutch. So this was really, really effective. Uh, you know, just depends on the luck of the draw and the pets that you go against. Um, I'm sure if either of the tamers who I'd fought, or I, I say tamers, but other players, if they had adapted at all, like, really in the slightest, it, it would have been a much more challenging achievement to get. Um, but anyway, that's the beast team that I had. Uh, I'd love to hear in the comments what teams you ran, uh, particularly for beasts. And anyway, I'll be making more videos, so like and subscribe. Take care, and talk to you soon.